Hey everybody, Tom Glazer back with the second installment of my video blog. Please keep the feedback coming. So I'm sitting again on the back porch. We're experiencing yet another gorgeous summer day here in Minnesota, which as you can imagine, we relish given the difficulty of our winters. So I was sitting in this very spot within the past week just chatting with my brother-in-law, Bill, and he asked me a really interesting question. It was something along the lines of, you know, given all your various passions, Tom, which might seem pretty disparate actually, is there some kind of common denominator or common thread? And very much so is what I discovered. So I've been a psychologist for, gosh, over 30 years, and I've been meditating for, say, oh gosh, about 25 years. And on and off during most of my life, I've been a performer. And over the past about five years or, st or so, I've gotten back into seriously studying acting again. And what struck me as I got back into the study of acting is that there is such an emphasis for good reason on being in the present moment. So many people might think that good actors are really good at pretending. And what I know now is that good actors find ways to have real experiences. They're able to be in the present moment, to get out of their head so that they can be in the present moment, connecting with their scene partner, connecting with themselves, they're in alignment, and they're letting things flow. That's when the best acting occurs. The same thing happens in the consulting room. So when I'm sitting across the room from a client, I'm listening really deeply. I'm trying to go free of distractions as much as possible. When they come up, I notice that they come up. I honor them, but I'm able to let them go and come back into listening very deeply, aware of what's going on in myself too, but listening very deeply to what the person in front of me is saying. All of these skills are, are, are taught in meditation, in formal meditation or mindfulness practice. It's the same thing. Often when I'm meditating, I'm focusing on a single point. Often it's my breath. And when distracting thoughts come up, I just bring my mind back over and over and over again to the breath at the belly. This practice allows me to do things like relish this gorgeous summer day. There's a chapter on mindfulness in my book, actually, Full Heart Living Conversations with the Happiest People I Know. Because what I learned is that the happiest people are masters at being in the present moment. So you can find out more information on that at my website, fullheartliving.com. Thanks again for listening in and uh, keep that feedback coming, like I said earlier. Have a good one. Bye-bye.